Hey Ryan, Michael Galloway here for We Don't Need No Stinking Record Company dot com, and uh, we've been talking about equipment, and uh, going to continue to talk about equipment for a little while. Some of the devilish problems that we have with them, but um, you know, if you're like me, uh, you probably don't like to spend a whole lot of money on equipment, and I want to talk a little bit about uh, you know how you can get away with not having the fanciest equipment in the world. And, you know, we can start right down there with your guitar and microphone cables. Um, in uh, the U.S., uh, I can get a cable where the cable itself is fairly pliable and rubbery. Um, you know, uh, it may have guitar uh, ends on it or it may have uh, the three-pronged cannon connectors for microphones or something like that. And um, the ends will be kind of inexpensive, but the cable itself will be pretty decent. And I can get those for you know, 14 US, maybe, what is that, about 7 pounds uh, UK for those in the UK, and I don't know too many of the other mon monetary systems out there, but anyway, um, if I were to spend 30 or 40 dollars, uh, you know, 15 or 20 pounds, um, I might be able to get something that's extremely durable, but frankly, you know, you, that adds up to an awful lot of money really quick when you're trying to, say, you go out and you buy uh, maybe, uh, uh, you know, ten microphones and you got to get ten cables with them, and all of a sudden you're spending hundreds of dollars just for cables. It's crazy. Now, the question I have for you is: Are you going to be packing up your own equipment, or is somebody going to be doing that for you? That's relatively knowledgeable. Could you learn maybe to take care of the equipment a little bit better and by buying the cheap stuff still make it last? Now if you're going to have a bunch of people who are used to moving refrigerators and throwing stuff around and they don't care about the cabling and they don't care about the speakers or anything else, then it probably you know, pays to go out and buy the sturdiest stuff that you can possibly get your hands on and go ahead and spend the money. If it's you and or roadies that you have specifically trained to do it, and they're willing to be careful for you, then buy the cheap stuff. And here's how you make a cable last. So this could be a microphone or a uh, um, uh, guitar cable, keyboard cable. Um, in this case, it's got a phone end on it. And I'm going to step back just a little bit and show you something. Um, we used to have something here called the Shoko Wrap. Um, Shoko was a company that was pretty popular, and they would take it and they would, you know, maybe maybe wrap it around their arms. And uh, they do this thing where they end up tying around and, and doing this loop and crushing the cable and it end up something like that. I, this is a lousy job with the Shoko wrap, but my point is it crushed the cable. And frankly, that got it done really fast and they didn't have to use skilled labor to do it, although I'm sure some of the roadies were very skilled, but it was hard on, those wire, on that wiring. If, on the other hand, you're willing to take a minute and take and loop that cable, don't arm wrap it. Loop it, and I'm kind of rolling it and twisting it. Rolling it and twisting it, and i got a little bit of a hang up here. Roll and twist. And just keep doing that. And then one of the things I love that a relatively new invention over the last 15 years or so, uh, we used to just have an awful time trying to figure out how to keep our cables together. I love these tie-offs, and you can get them at a hardware store or anything like that, or a music store, they're cheap at a hardware store, that are Velcro, and you wrap those puppies right up. And now I have a cable that is, it doesn't have any kinks in it, it hasn't been crushed anywhere. It can sit, it can even get heated up to a degree, and not become microphonic and not become shorted. So that's my style of doing things. Plus, when you throw it in the box of cables, everything's very together, it's not tangled, and so it cuts your setup time by uh, a lot. <laughs> I don't know exactly the, uh, the percentage, but anyway, that's how I make cheap cables last for years and years and years. And I am Ryan Michael Galloway. We don't need no stinking record company.com.